everyone, and welcome to your next episode of the Monday Huddle Show. I am so glad you are here. If you've tuned in before, you know that here at Shop Talk, we are huge fans of a Monday. So I want to officially welcome you to another episode of the show and let you know a little bit more about why we do the Monday Huddle. First, if you haven't tuned in before, I'm Dr. Dawn, CEO and founder of Dr. Dawn Shop Talk. And at Shop Talk, we love a Monday and want you to be part of our Monday revolution. And the reason we do, you guys, is that we believe that if you change your attitude about Monday and kind of start your week off on a different foot, you're going to have the best week at work and at home. So we want you to be part of our Monday revolution by tuning in each and every Monday for your next episode. And if you do, just as you see on your screen there, we think that means you're going to have an amazing week You've got this Monday, right? That's what we want your theme to be. Now, if you don't know about Shop Talk, our mission is for you to be your very best self at work and at home. I'm a career coach, teacher, trainer, administrator, manager. I've done it all for about 30 years now. I'm a proud wife and a proud military mom and would absolutely love to work with you. My passion is to help men and women in the workforce get ready for their next career step, their next job, or their next promotion. So definitely check us out on our website at drdawnshoptalk.com. That's where you can find out about all of our services. And you guys, I love a freebie. So you can find tons of free resources on the website as well. All right, you guys, let's get started with today's episode. I'm entitling it Transition or Transform. You've got the power to choose. So let me start by reading a little bit from the Monday blog. This is information I provide for you for free each and every Monday on the website. So be sure to check that out. And so I want to share a little bit about the intro as to why I picked the topic of transitioning and transforming. In other words, when life's transitions hit you, it's really up to us whether we see that transition as something that can transform our lives for the better or not. So let me share a little bit more about that with you. All right, you guys, so here we go. Life's transitions, as we know, can come out of nowhere. As a result, it can throw most people for a loop. If you're not careful, you guys, these dramatic changes can shake you to the core throwing you off balance, and making it that much more difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oftentimes, it even sends you into feelings of panic and depression. Now, oh, under those circumstances, it can become much harder for you to even figure out what path to take and what your next step should be. Now, you've probably heard it said before that there's only two things you can count on in life, death and taxes. Well, first off, Number one, is that not just a terrible attitude to take? And I would argue, yes, we know death and taxes are going to happen to us all, but that's not a very empowering approach, right? We might as well just give up now. Also, secondly, I really believe that what we're talking about is the fear of change. Everything that change can kind of bring, right? So just like you'll never know what your tax bill is going to be until your accountant tells you so, And you definitely are never going to know what the circumstances of your death is going to be or anybody else's. The best thing you can do is to take a look at what life throws your way and always be prepared to use the information and the tools that you have to your best advantage. So as we go through the tips today, you guys, I want you to see these tips as your weapons. Kind of think of it as a way to develop your your combat strategies for what life might throw your way. So the tips that we're going to talk about, think of that as your weapons so you can kind of prepare yourself for battle, so to speak. And think of the strategies that we're going to talk about as your suit of armor, right? Because you're never going to be able to change what life does throw your way, whether it's in your professional life or your personal life. But what you can do is be prepared for your reaction and how you're going to face life's challenges. So that's what I wish for you. That's what I advise my clients to do. So I'm definitely very excited to talk about these three tips with you today. Now, as we go through the tips, I want you to think of these three concepts. If you think about this, it's going to be easier for you to remember 
the three tips we'll talk about. And the concepts are step back, step up, and step forward. Okay, that's going to make a lot more sense to you as we go through our three tips today. Now, before we do, as you guys know, if you've tuned in before, I absolutely love having guests on our show. I think they bring an amazing perspective to what we'll talk about. So I am going to go ahead and put some information up here on our screen about our guest today. Our guest today is Stephanie Ferrara. She is just an amazing amazing career coach. She actually has a wonderful, wonderful business in helping women entrepreneurs develop their online businesses with a spiritual foundation. I think she's just an amazing guest to have. She's actually been on our show before. So I would like to introduce her and bring her on our show. She's just joined us on our online broadcast studio. So with no further delay, let me go ahead and introduce Stephanie. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us today. So excited to have you back to another episode of the Monday Huddle. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right. Well, I cannot wait to talk about our tips today. But before we do, Stephanie, as you know, since you've been a guest of ours before, I always love giving our guests an opportunity to tell our audience a little bit more about your business and what you do. So would you mind sharing that with us? And as you do, I'm going to put your website up there as, as well. Awesome. So our guests can check that out. Perfect. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so as Dawn mentioned, I am a business coach and I help women who are in those early stages of their business, either transitioning out of a corporate career into owning your own business, similar to what Dawn is doing, or you've already, you're going all in and you've been thinking you've had this dream for so long of your own business and it's time to just get it started. And really my specialty is helping those who want to coach others. So helping you to develop your own coaching programs, your own group programs or online courses and getting that up and running and making those first sales. So that is how I help um, women who are really transitioning to something new in their lives. Wonderful. And um, I mentioned this at the top of the show, but yes, Stephanie is just an amazing career coach online businesses is her specialty working with female entrepreneurs. Uh, she has worked with me over the past six months or so. And, and I mean, invaluable information. So you guys definitely check out her website. She has my personal endorsement because she has helped me really strategize. And you guys, if you're thinking about starting your own business, I've mentioned this before on other shows, you really do need to think about where you want to spend your energy. So if you can reach out to a professional that can help you get there on some things that you just don't have the knowledge base on, time is money, you guys. So you don't want to waste your time teaching yourself everything if you can reach out to a career coach like Stephanie to help you with those pieces. Because if you do that, then you can spend this valuable time we all have working on the content and the things that are in your area of expertise. So definitely wanted to share that with our audience. All right, you guys, we are going to get ready to share and talk about our next um, set of tips. So I am going to click on a couple of things here so we can take a look at uh, tip number one, which is take a step back. So earlier, Stephanie, I was telling our audience that I want them to think about three concepts and stepping back before we can even think about stepping up is an important concept. So you guys, let me tell you a little bit more about what I mean. Also remember that at Shop Talk, again, we believe if you put even one or two of these tips in place, you're going to have a terrific week ahead. So as you can see, as it scrolls across the bottom of your screen there, hello week, let's do this. So let's get started. When I talk about taking a step back, you guys, what I mean is what you've heard in the research before, you've heard other people advise this, right? When life throws a big transition your way, and it could be something positive or negative, Many times you're still kind of dealing with that change. So oftentimes people say not to take any kind of drastic action. Take like a couple of months or even in some cases, if it's a huge life transition, take maybe a year to step back and really evaluate. 
You guys, that's an important concept. I advise this of my clients for sure, because whether it's a promotion, let's say it's something positive. Let's say that you actually interviewed for and you got that promotion. Well, what if that promotion means that not only do you have maybe a little bit of a learning curve, so that might be stressing you out, uh, but perhaps the promotion means that you're now going to have to move to another city, another state perhaps. So even if it's something positive, you don't want to do anything too dramatic, right? You want to give yourself time to kind of recoup and reevaluate. Now, what if that life transition is something scary or something negative? Maybe your family has gotten a diagnosis and now there's an illness that we have to be you know, thinking about, planning for. Well, taking a step back can help you make those preparations. Maybe you need to look at your budget and see if insurance doesn't cover everything. Could you afford perhaps a nurse to help out? maybe for yourself or for a loved one. So these are all reasons that you want to take a step back. Don't do anything dramatic. Give yourself the time to really take this situation and make the best out of it. So what do you think about that first tip, Stephanie? Kind of an important one. It is a really important one. And two things came to mind for me as you were going through that. Um, one, I know the company that I used to work, work for, um, Every time somebody moved into a manager role, right, it may have been their first time or they were just recently hired into the company in that type of role. Um, I noticed that there was a common theme on everybody's desk and there was a book that was called The First 90 Days. And that's exactly what that what that book was about, was really <laughs> evaluating, taking time. Don't make any changes that first 90 days of that new role, but really take time to learn it get into it, understand the people, understand what's going on before you make any changes. Because, you know, from an employee standpoint, everybody's c concerned like, oh, no, they're going to come in and make all these wholesale changes and they don't even know what we do and all of that. And so that was a culture within the company that I was at that you ha you didn't do anything like that for those first 90 days because you really needed to understand what was really happening there. Um, and then for me personally on that second one, you know, um, I had a pretty tragic accident that happened in 2017 that I had about six months of recovery. And then after that recovery, I had an opportunity. It was actually a little over six months. I, I So I officially lost my job during that time because short-term disability ran out. I went into long-term disability. And at that time it was like, okay, so now you're in long-term disability. You no longer actually are an employee of the company, but you're welcome to reapply should you want to. Well, once I was released from my doctor, I had to make that decision. And um, my husband and I had to come to an agreement on that decision because my heart was saying, now's the time to start your business. And my husband's heart was saying, we got to get back to a paycheck, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and so we, we did after some, some discussion, some research, all of that, we came to a decision that, you know, and I was, and I asked him, I was like, give me a year. So it was, give me a year to get my business going and let's just reevaluate one year from now. So very much, you know, similar of, of I had this opportunity because of this tragedy, but I don't want to go back to what I was doing before. I loved my job. There wasn't anything like, it wasn't anything like that. I just knew God had placed this other dream in my heart and that I was supposed to do something different. It was time and it was time because he had given me that dream two years before. So it wasn't like it was like, in a, like a new thing. It had been rolling around in my head for a couple of years before it's like, now is the time. And so, yeah, but it, but it was, it was, let's give it a year before I have to make that decision of, do I go back to work? Because now is the time that I feel like I need to, Right. take advantage of of the situation I'm in and do something different. Right. Transition. I love that. I love that, Stephanie. Thank you for sharing that personal story with us. How inspiring that here you had this horrific situation, had to go through all of this recovery and rehabilitation. And then out of that comes this idea that you said had actually started several years ago. So you took something very scary and negative and was able to make it into something so positive, starting a business. And, and as you mentioned, saying, hey, let me have a year. Let's take a year. This is something that's a dream of mine. I think I feel like this is the time to act. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that. I love that because, you know, I, of course, love everything that's inspirational. But that is especially 
moving because, you know, when it comes to, a, you know, a, a tragic type of medical anything, right, it can just be so debilitating. And instead, right. you got through it. And you had an opportunity to to actually fulfill a dream of yours. So I love that. Thank you so much. And actually, and it goes, really and it goes so back to, yeah, go ahead. To say it goes back to just what you were saying, is, you know, as far as the title of, of this talk mm-hmm. today and really this discussion about you get to choose. And right. so I could have, I had a couple of different choices. One, I could have chosen to really allow myself to get down about where I was. There was some functionality with my hands. My job required a whole lot of typing. And at the time I was like, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to type again. Um, And all these things that were going through my head and I had to just really resign and say, you know what? One, God's going to take care of me no matter what. He's not going to let me just flounder, but it also has to do with my decision of how, what I want to think about. And so instead of thinking about how horrible things could be, I was like, Oh wait, now I like the, I could see possibility because I chose to look at what positives could come out of this. I have have the opportunity to start my business finally and all of those types of things that, that kind of came into play over that, you know, six, seven months of recovery. Exactly. Exactly. And that really leads us so well. We didn't practice this, you guys, at all. This is a great segue to the second tip, because what she did, you guys, is during that recovery, she took that step back. She took care of those basic needs. And then after that, she was ready to take action. And you guys, this is an important uh, second tip I want to talk to Stephanie about, because I think many times I've said this before, I usually get the quote wrong. So let me think about it. Um, It goes, and I'm just paraphrasing something like, you know, uh, paralysis by analysis. I usually get it flipped around. So, right, you can paralyze yourself, in other words, by just rethinking and going things over and over. You have to make a decision. So what she did is, again, she made a decision. Okay, this is the time I'm going to start my business. And starting something new, much less creating your own company, becoming the CEO of that company. I went through the same thing, not through a medical diagnosis or anything like that or a tragedy, but just this idea of a business, knowing I wanted to have a consulting business. I wanted to help people in more of a one-on-one way that I don't always get to do. I mean, I'm blessed to be able to do that with my staff over the years, but you know, again, you got to then take action. So tip number two is once you've had that time to reflect on this life transition, as Stephanie reminded us, and as I pointed out at the beginning of the show, you do have the power to choose whether transition is going to be something that could transform your life for the better. So when I tell clients, okay, now it's time to step it up. What we're talking about is creating some sort of action plan for yourself, whether it's something that you write down or just something that you decide, okay, by the end of next month, I'm going to take these two steps. And so we'll get into more specifics about that here in the next tip. But most of the time, I'm going to advise people to take something big and make it a little bit more manageable. And by doing that, it just really empowers you to take the next steps forward. So when we talked about perhaps that job promotion or an illness, right, the next thing you really want to do is create those tips for yourself so that you can figure out where do I go from here. And sometimes just making the decision is going to help everything else moving forward. And I've mentioned this in other episodes. I kind of picture that it's like this big boulder on top of the hill, right? The hardest part is pushing it and pushing it and getting it to start to roll. But once it starts rolling, oh man, you know, you what's exciting about that is that nothing can get in that way, right? So once you get that action going, it just kind of like starts other action. It's like a positive ripple effect that can get you through. So what do you think about that second tip, Stephanie? I think that's great because making that decision is that's like, that's the biggest part. And one of the things that I think um, you have to remember when it comes to making a decision is that you can always change your mind. And, and so a lot of people are are like, well, what if I make the wrong decision? Well, again, at least make a decision because you can end up in that analysis paralysis where you're just researching and researching and researching trying to decide and looking at the pros and cons. And, and, and I think some of the best leaders are ones who get about maybe 60% of the information they need and then make a decision. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and then, you know, because you'll never have a hundred percent. And so just making that choice, giving it a chance 
and giving yourself whether whether you decide, you know what, like I did, I'm going to give myself a year and decide, did I make the right choice? I can right. always go back and get another job. Right. And so tr- making that decision is a big thing. That is pushing that boulder over and saying, this is what I've decided. And then putting those steps in place. OK, now that I have made this decision, it's a lot easier to figure out what the next pieces are. And then give exactly. those pieces, give, give those steps a chance, just work them, give it, you know, give it your all, go all in and say, this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm going to tackle this new challenge in my life and go all in. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Let's do this, right? Going all in, that is the theme. We want you to feel empowered to do just that. All right, you guys, usually after the second tip, this is when I like to remind our audience, be sure to like share and comment on these episodes. It helps me figure out the content that you really do appreciate and you want more of. So be sure to do that. We absolutely love that here at Shop Talk. Okay, you guys, last but not least, tip number three, taking your next steps forward. So remember at the beginning of the show, we talked about those three concepts that you want to step back, step up, and then step forward. So the way to do that, you guys, is to really now, we talked about that action plan, This is where you need to get specific. Set deadlines for yourself. Don't get stuck. Once you've identified the action that you need to do, you need to go ahead and do that. And then this is an important second part of that. When you start making that movement to step forward, you need to do so in a way that allows you to kind of let go. When Stephanie talked about, hey, make the decision already, right? Sometimes the reason we get paralyzed with all that analysis is because we're so concerned about the outcome. Remember this, you are responsible, in my opinion, and I've seen this work time and time again, you guys, you're responsible for the effort. If you let go of the outcome, because an outcome is going to happen one way or the other, right? It's either going to be good or bad. It's going to work out or it's not going to work out. But just keep this in mind, you guys, if you really think about I am responsible for putting forth 150 percent, whatever the case is, then let go of the outcome. If you do, it's going to take this burden off of your shoulders because there's a lot we can control in our lives, but there's a lot that we can't. We always can control how we face things, how we carry ourselves. But the outcome of what happens is not in your control. And think about this. I actually covered this many episodes ago when we talked about how billionaires and millionaires and the top CEOs, how they use their time differently. And one of the things that they talked about was that they really do let go of that outcome because they realize that even if their decision didn't work out for the best, they've learned more anyway from their mistakes than from their successes. So that's an important next step, you guys, as you move forward into your new life, And this new you, right? Because when those life transitions happen, if you do choose to see it as something that can transform your life, now you're looking at a new routine, perhaps a new part of you that's coming to the forefront, like Stephanie deciding to start her business as a result, right? So as you take take those steps forward into this new you, you need to just be able to let go, appreciate it, and just see it as the path that you were supposed to take to get there. So what do you think about tip number three, Stephanie? So, so good. I mean, every bit of that. Um, And just knowing that as long as you are taking that step and looking at, you know, what's the next right thing to do with each, with, with that path, you may not know the whole way to get to that dream that you have, that goal that you, you know, that you have, you've made a decision and you're not sure all the steps you can get overwhelmed by that then, right? And get back into that analysis paralysis. So just look at, well, what's the first thing I need to do? And then make that happen. And then what's the next thing? And if something doesn't work out, just like Don said, if it doesn't go the way you thought it should, don't look at it as a failure, but look at look at it from the, from the aspect of what can I learn from it? You know, I learned this didn't work, <laughs> you know, or it didn't go the way that I thought. So, how do I change what I was thinking or what my expectations were or just make a new decision? And you don't have to get down about it. You don't have to beat yourself up about it. You, you know, it's just taking the, this new information that you have and making another decision for that next step, that next right thing. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, guys, remember that if you keep all of that in mind, you're just going to have like a more positive outlook. You're going to be able to tackle things even better. So, and that's definitely what our mission is here at Shop Talk for you to live your best life professionally and personally. So use even one of these tips this week, you guys, that is my challenge for you. All right, you guys, as we wrap up, I want to remind our audience to check out our YouTube channel. I do post all of these videos on YouTube uh, later on, usually in the week. So check that out. Also, be sure to check out our website. That's where you can find some of our huddles. There's free webinars that you can also find on YouTube with Shop Talk and also on our website. Now, don't forget, you guys, show us a love on social media. We love that. So in addition to YouTube and Facebook, we're also on LinkedIn and on Instagram. All right, you guys, on behalf of Stephanie and myself, we want you to have a wonderful rest of your Monday. We want you to stay safe out there. Stephanie, do you have any other uh, closing remarks before we say goodbye to our audience today? Uh, just just that reminder to stay positive, look for the, the possibilities as opposed to the issues or the negative side. Always be looking for what is it that I have learned out of what I've done and the decision that I've made. And you cannot fail. I could not agree more, you guys. Absolutely. So again, guys, on that note, thank you so much, Stephanie, for joining us. We want you to come back as often as you want. You have got an open invitation here on the Monday Huddle. So you guys, we want you to have a great rest of your Monday, as we mentioned. And remember to stay tuned each and every Monday. This is where you can find your next episode of the Monday Huddle, same time, same place at 12 noon. So have a wonderful rest of your day, you guys. Again, thank you so much for joining us and take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.